Texas lawmakers get back to work in Austin today with quite a bit on their agendas. I sat down with senior political reporter Jason Whiteley to talk about what this session will look like and one of the top priorities. Last time I sat down with you over coffee, we were talking about elected officials and their positions of power. Yeah. Now, Texas legislative session starts today. What can North Texans expect in the next couple of weeks as lawmakers get back to work? The, the session lasts 180 days. It goes until the end of May, the 1st of June, and then they, they, they gavel out. The, the main thing that's going to happen that everyone agrees on is property taxes, cutting property taxes. How they get there is, is up for debate. But this time, state lawmakers have at least $27 billion that they can use. This is state surplus. They can't use all of it, but they can use a large portion of that to kind of buy down our property taxes to reduce what you and I pay uh, all the time in property taxes once a year. Right now, there is not any major social issue that is really rising to the top that is really splitting everybody. Bill filing is still underway. Something could still happen um, with that. But at the end of the day, Republicans control the Texas legislature. They have the governor, they have the House of Representatives, and they have the Texas Senate. They will decide what happens in the state for the next two years. You know, we often talk about the fact that the legislative session is every other year. And I had to think about that for a second because I thought, didn't we just have one of these right. special sessions? How often can those be called? Well, if they don't get anything done, if, if property taxes does not get done, if property taxes are not lowered for you and I and our viewers, you can guarantee that the governor will call another special session sometime this summer. I don't think that's likely because I think that, that everyone, Democrats, Republicans, everyone's on board with figuring out some way to lower property taxes. But Texas is one of those rare states that has um, legislative sessions every two years, a, a biennium. So it doesn't happen very often, but it seems like that uh, lawmakers have been in Austin a lot lately. We do have one update after Jason and I taped that. We learned the budget surplus is actually nearly $33 billion, so far more than the $27 billion projected in July. And a big thank you to Triumphs Espresso and Whiskey in Dallas Design District for allowing us to tape our interview there.